Well, we're at the launch of the Children's University here on the Isle of Man. It's a new initiative for the island uh, for children between 5 and 13. They can get hold of these, it costs £2, and it entitles them then to take part in extra curriculum outside of schools. And it seems it's a growing idea across the UK as well. It's a brilliant, exciting project. I'm really thrilled to be launching it today. Um, first sort of children's university here on the Isle of Man. I think it fanta offers fantastic opportunities for children to broaden their knowledge of learning different things that they may not come across within the school's curriculum. Um, and it celebrates and rewards the learning they do outside of the normal school day. And this is a charity item, it's not part, part of government? No, it's not. Um, part of the Department of Education and Children. It's not public money funded. We're kind of reliant on, or well, we are reliant on um, donations, fundraising and sponsorship. Um, our website's been sponsored, for example, by um, Intelligence over here on the Isle of Man. So they've built and constructed it for us. So, so they buy a passport for two pounds and what's that entitle them to? Um, that entitles them to um, membership of the Children's University globally I suppose because there are lots of learning destinations across the UK as well as here on the Isle of Man that they'll be able to use their passport in. Um, they essentially uh, as you said buy a passport for £2 and they're able to collect stamps or stickers for every hour of learning they do outside of the normal school day so if they go to an after school club or a lunchtime club then they'll be able to have a stamp in their sticker. If they go to somewhere like, um, they attend Manx Wildlife Trust, rock pooling or nature walking activities, they'll be able to get a stamp in their sticker. If they go to Manx Sport and Recreation, after school or holiday clubs at the NSC, they'll be able to collect stamps in their stickers, as well as places like the Manx Youth Orchestra, which has also been validated. And the, and the Wildlife Park has some, will, will shortly have some stuff done too. And of course, at the end of any university life, you graduate, I hear. It's going to be quite spectacular. Yes, that's right, absolutely. Uh, after a certain number of hours, children will receive certification, which they are awarded at a spectacular, as you said, <laughs> pinch by word, graduation ceremony, which we're hoping will happen in an equally spectacular location on the Isle of Man. Caps and gowns are going to be red and gold to match the Manx flag, um, and we're really looking forward to the first one in March 2013. So we've got a year in which to get prepared for it. How do kids sign up for this? They essentially will sign up through their schools generally. So as I said, we have probably roughly about 24 schools who've expressed an interest in this, four of which are um, currently up and running with passports. Um, another five are hopefully going to be signing up before the end of the summer term and um, as I said 24 altogether um, from from the island secondary and primary schools that have expressed an interest in being involved in children's university so really excited so they can sign up they buy passports through their schools generally they will also be an online passport that will be available for children who are perhaps not, um, not who are home educated, for example, or looked after children, they'll also be able to join by registering online. That will be coming up in the very near future. So.